Anthropic just changed the AI game with its new AI chatbot that has the power to outperform ChatGPT in almost every metric. With this release, the days of OpenAI may be numbered. Hey guys, Ben here, and I got some exciting news to share with you today. Just this past month, tech company Anthropic released a new chatbot called Claude2, and from the looks of things, is proving to be a significant advantage in the AI space. In this video, we'll break down everything you need to know about Claude 2, from its capabilities to its accessibility. So, let's get straight into this. So, I know what you're asking, what is Claude 2? Well, there's a clue in the name, but Claude 2 is not the first AI chatbot of its kind. It's actually the second generation Claude chatbot, but Claude 2 is so much better than its predecessor. In fact, if you were to put them side by side, you can barely see a similarity. Here's how Anthropic describes Claude 2. Claude 2 has improved performance, longer responses, and can be accessed via API as well as a new public-facing beta website, Claude.ai. We have heard from our users that Claude is easy to converse with, clearly explains its thinking, is less likely to produce harmful outputs, and has a longer memory. We've made improvements from our previous models on coding, math, and reasoning. Think of Claude as a friendly, enthusiastic colleague or personal assistant who can be instructed in natural language to help you with many tasks. The Claude 2 API for businesses is being offered for the same price as Claude 1.3. So from this description, it looks like Claude 2 is being marketed as a better ChatGPT. It doesn't have any one feature that makes it stand out as a unique chatbot, but looks to be so much more advanced than its competition. So let's get into the capabilities, and Claude 2 has some insane capabilities that put ChatGPT to shame. For instance, ChatGPT can summarize around 3,000 words. This might sound impressive, but you need to hold on for a second, because Claude 2 can summarize a whopping 75,000 words. I mean, that's over 20 times that of ChatGPT. And this isn't just an impressive number either, it will have serious real-world application. Being able to summarize this much data will make the lives of researchers, journalists, students, and business owners so much easier. Claude 2 will also have the ability to code at an advanced level. So if you need a website built for your business or you want to create a video game, you no longer need to spend years learning to code or have to fork out thousands of dollars hiring a human. You can just ask Claude. And beyond this, Claude will have the generic capabilities of a chatbot, just at a higher level. So if you want to write a book in a few minutes, summarize an article, or bounce ideas around, Claude will be able to deliver. But before we get into the next section where we talk about the test performance, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed so far. But onto the test performance. Claude 2 has put both Claude 1 and ChatGPT4 to shame with his test score answers, which are scarily impressive. First of all, it scored an impressive 76.5% on the multiple choice section of the bar exam. Claude 1 could only manage 73%, and this is higher than the average human score of 74%. On a Python coding test, Claude 2 was able to score yet again an impressive 71%. Claude 1 could only get 56%. This score basically means that Claude 2 can write code at a professional level, something that takes humans years to achieve. Now, on a generic grade school math test, Claude 2 scored 88, compared to Claude 1's 85%. Now, if you're currently in school, this is probably music to your ears, as you'll be able to get Claude 2 to do your homework for you. Now, some of these scores might seem pretty similar, but in this game, 1% is a massive amount of improvement. And the fact that Claude 2 has outperformed its predecessor so consistently across every test just shows how revolutionary this chatbot is. But I think it's time we move on into safety, and safety is obviously a huge issue when it comes to AI, with recent revelations that this technology could bring an end to humanity if created incorrectly. Anthropics had addressed these concerns with Claude 2. For instance, they said that Claude 2 is twice as good at giving harmless responses as its predecessor. They're also using red teaming to improve outputs to be harmless. And what's more is on the website, Anthropic had leaked two papers backing their safety claims. The first paper talks about how Claude 2 is essentially developed with a constitution that it will always follow. As a matter of fact, Anthropics wrote, We experiment with methods for training a harmless AI assistant through self-improvement, without any human labels identifying harm in outputs. The only human oversight is provided through a list of rules or principles, and so we refer to this method as constitutional AI. 
In the second paper, the company talks about reinforcement learning from human feedback. We test the hypothesis that language models trained with reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, have the capability to morally self-correct to avoid producing harmful outputs, if instructed to do so. We find strong evidence in the support of this hypothesis across three different experiments, each of which revealed different facets of moral self-correction. We find that the capability for moral self-correction emerges at 22B model parameters, and typically improves with increasing model size and RLHF training. We believe that at this level of scale, language models obtain two capabilities that they can use for moral self-correction. One, they can follow instructions, and two, they can learn complex normative concepts of harm like stereotyping, bias, and discrimination. As such, they can follow instructions to avoid certain kinds of morally harmful outputs. Now that we've talked about the safety aspect, we need to see how Claude 2 stacks up against ChatGPT. So Claude 2 is still in its beta stages, so we can't get too far ahead of ourselves here. But from the data alone, there is reason for OpenAI to be concerned. For starters, all of Claude 2's capabilities can be enjoyed by users completely for free. So if you want to experience GPT-4 with ChatGPT, you need to pay 20 bucks a month. Naturally, this is going to make many casual users prefer Claude straight away. Both ChatGPT and Claude have decent privacy measures, allowing users to delete their interactions whenever they see fit. However, Claude 2 allows users to browse through a VPN, something that ChatGPT does not support. Of course, in the terms of context handling, Claude 2 walks all over ChatGPT. It supports a whopping 100,000 tokens, compared to ChatGPT's 8,192. Oh, and Claude is also a lot more practical than ChatGPT too. You can add Claude to Slack, which is a great communications platform used by most small businesses, and it gives tasks to handle such as summarizing threads, providing suggestions, and brainstorming. It also provides API support. On the other hand, the free version of ChatGPT offers literally nothing like this. Now, yes, the paid version of ChatGPT does offer API support, a plugin store, and a code interpreter, but Claude 2's compatibility looks overall stronger than that of its rival. However, ChatGPT is a lot better than Claude 2 in a few different ways. First of all, ChatGPT is far more available than Claude 2 at this moment. You can access ChatGPT in a variety of countries, but as of the time of making this video, only the US and the UK residents can have access to Claude. Now, this is all because of the fact that Claude 2 is still in beta stages, but still, OpenAI has got to take any advantage that it can. ChatGPT also supports more languages than Claude, and this isn't to say that Claude isn't impressive. It supports loads of languages including English, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Mandarin, and German, but it simply can't compete with ChatGPT here, which supports over 80 languages. I mean, I didn't even know that there were that many. All in all though, the core capabilities and features of Claude 2 clearly outweigh those of ChatGPT, and as it gains more traction, Anthropic will be able to bridge the gaps in language and availability to become a serious problem for OpenAI. Ultimately, Claude 2 looks absolutely awesome and is yet another new player in this AI game for OpenAI to fear. Claude 2 can outperform ChatGPT in pretty much almost every metric, and is currently only limited by language and availability. Once it gets out the beta stage, we don't think that the basic version of ChatGPT will be able to keep up. Of course, we'd love to hear your thoughts on Claude 2 in the comments below. Is this just another hype train that will flop, or should OpenAI genuinely be concerned? Oh, and of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out our recent guide explaining what the hell is going on with Twitter. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.